Hey guys, here with a quick review today, we're going to be talking about Sarah Waters' new novel, The Paying Guests. The Paying Guests was released on the 26th of August and I was very kindly sent this by Hachette for review. Those of you who've been around my channel for a while know that I have read several other Sarah Waters novels. I think this is my fourth one. And I actually found this kind of an odd one. Um, in some respects, this is very much a Sarah Waters novel. It has aspects of things that appear in various other books of hers. It uses similar themes. It has similar kind of characters that have similar kind of wants. But in another way, it was quite different. It took a different turn than anything else I've previously read by her. And it did deal with a different time period. So this book is set in 1922 in London and our main character Frances lives with her mother in their old family home. Her two brothers had died previously in the war and her father has also passed away, leaving behind quite a lot of debt that they weren't previously aware of. They've had to get rid of any servants and they're having to do things on their own and look for income in a new way. So because of this, Frances and her mother have decided to rent out some of the rooms in their house to a newly married couple, Lillian and Leonard Barber. So the book starts with Lillian and Leonard moving in to this house. Things are told from Frances's perspective, so we're seeing how awkward it is for her and her mother to have to invite strangers into their house to have lodges, or as they like to call them, paying guests, a little bit of upper class way of saying it, I suppose. The first half of the story really just follows Francis and Lillian getting to know each other as their relationship grows. Um, we sort of discover the kind of relationship that Lillian and Leonard have, and we slowly learn a little bit about Francis's past, and to a lesser extent about Lillian and her past. But a little bit more than halfway through the book, it takes an absolute turn. It goes away that you could have potentially seen coming, but there was sort of a few different ways it could have gone. Um, you could definitely sense that something was going to shift, but not necessarily the exact way that this took it. Things get a little bit darker, a little bit more mysterious. As always, this is an extremely well-researched book. Sarah Waters is fantastic at capturing a period of time, the class structure within that time, and the sort of cultural and political tone. Um, Things get hectic and I'm not going to give anything away. I really don't want to give any spoilers in this review, but I actually really, really loved the last third of the book, maybe more so than the rest. I was really enjoying it at the beginning. Um, it was sort of meandering along the way a Sarah Waters novel does, um, but things got quite intense towards the end and I really enjoyed it. I don't know necessarily what I thought about the absolute ending. It was good, but it could have I don't know, it seemed maybe a little bit of a cop-out. I think I would have preferred if things maybe had have even taken a darker tone than they ended up. Um, but it was really good, really enjoyable. Sarah Waters books I found are so easy to get through, just really fast reads, for me at least. I think there's just something so page-turning about Sarah Waters. I'm always interested to see where she's going to take her characters and what their fate will be. And this is quite a chunk of a book as well. Um, my edition comes in at 564 pages and this is, I don't know if you can tell, but this is a very large paperback edition. But in general, if you are a fan of Sarah Waters, if you've read any of her previous novels, then give this one a go. It is really good. I don't know if I'd necessarily suggest starting with this one, but it is a good one, so it probably would get you sucked into her style. And actually reading this without being familiar with some of her other works, it might actually make it a little bit more mysterious because there are a couple of things in this that if you're familiar with Sarah Waters, then you can kind of see where it's going more so than if this was your first. So that's about it, guys. Those are my thoughts on The Paying Guest. If you have read it, I would love to hear what you thought of it. As always, thank you all for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this and I will see you soon.